It's time to recheck the valves on this uh, 1956 300 International Utility. The uh, firing order 1342. I've got the got it set on number one cylinder. Hopefully you can see the timing mark there, and that uh, and there's a little notch on the pulley. That uh, so currently I'm at number one, top dead center. So I just put a piece of tape on the pulley so I can see that this pointer here is uh, lined up with the tape here. The setting the valves is not as critical for the, having that in mark in the perfect place as is timing. So I'm going to uh, check the valves here on number one cylinder. This particular application calls for 17 thousandths of an inch. So I've got drag and, uh, and that one's good. And that one's good. Uh, if I was to adjust this then of course you just take the uh, wrench and a flat screwdriver there. These should all be okay because I've uh, it's just a recheck. So now I'm going to take and move the the mark one half of a turn and that'll bring up the next cylinder on the firing order. So again, it's not completely critical that I'm uh, exactly half a turn. So the next one in the firing order is cylinder number three. So again, I've got uh, just a, just a slight drag at, at 17 thousandths of an inch on that cylinder, so I'm going to call that good. Now we're going to go to the next one in the firing order, 1342. So this I'm going to bring this back to where it's at the pointer again. It'll be a top dead center number four cylinder. That one I'm likely going to come back and reset. It's a little, just not snug enough on. And that one's perfect. Okay, and the last one should be cylinder number two. So we're going to go around to the halfway mark again. Cylinder number two. And those are okay. Everything seems to be good.